morning everyone tuesday unfortunately i woke up in pain again not very impressed not very happy first of all when i woke up i knew i wasn't feeling great but i thought it's not too bad it feels better it's a bit of a more dull ache rather than the burning pain but as the morning wore on it's gotten worse and worse it's not the worst i've ever had but it's up there so i don't i meant to ask the doctor whether i should feel like immediate relief or whether it's going to take a bit of time i kind of got the impression that it was supposed to be pretty immediate which would then mean it hasn't worked so i don't know hopefully maybe i've gotten i read nothing to indicate that there's a delayed response but maybe maybe there's a vague chance that in a few days I feel better. I felt a lot better yesterday in hospital. Didn't feel awesome when I got home last night, but better than I do now. I just, yeah. Anyway, so I thought, even though I said I wasn't going to do a video today, I was going to just start doing one in a few days. That's when I really thought I was going to have a few good days at home. So I think I might just um, keep doing little updates. Just to see. I've managed to do a little bit of tidying up this morning, but that's it. I really need to like, I want to do some food prep. I'd love to get some food prep done, but it's just, it's um, rather disappointing because yesterday I felt so positive about things. And I think yesterday the first time she thought I would really, they must not believe it had worked and that my life was going to improve. Well, I managed to get part one done. We did it the first three days. That's very half an hour, so I'll have probably two videos on the treatment. <sighs> kind of weird watching it back though I was sort of a bit very out of it the first day or so first 24 hours so like I was saying that I was out of it um, and also I had to whisper a lot the, the first part too so hopefully it's, people can understand it all right yeah and then like I started to feel really positive about stuff so uh, so bummed I'm so not with it guys I forgot to introduce you guys to Harry <laughs> this is Harry he's an old boy I don't know how old he is he's my uncle's dog that their mum and dad are looking after my my uncle and Adia are away for two weeks so mum and dad are going out today so we're puppy sitting harry he's good he knows how to use a doggy door <laughs> he already went out and we've decided that bailey's having a lot of problems with the height of the doggy door so kind of getting to that a little bit but not worry too much if i have to let him out the other side because i think it's uncomfortable for him using that doggy door we're going to order a bigger one but Harry could use it, and Rosie over there can use it. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. Can you guess where I might be? Yep, I'm down at the lake. I just I did cheat and drive down. I'm not sure this is a good idea. I felt quite reasonable this morning. Not brilliant, but I felt quite reasonable. Certainly a lot better than yesterday. I thought, okay, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to have my bath f shower first because often I feel better after a shower. So, But I feel a bit sick after my shower in my stomach. But I'm just going to take a really slow walk. I'm just wearing my Crocs. It's just going to be a really slow walk just to be here and be outside. It's really lovely. He said it looks like they might be mowing the lawn. So maybe it won't be so quiet and peaceful. But no, he's gone up the road. So anyway, hopefully not so I'm very excited the pops didn't know what what was going on because it's been I would say at least a month since I've bought them and it's really only been a handful of times this year so um yes let's go and enjoy this and I'll just be taking that really easy so I don't overdo things <laughs> well it's so nice to be down here I've missed this so much the legs are in the moment too so it's extra pretty down at the river now in a bit of a slow walk but lovely I just tried to use snapchat and did a big fail so I sent an absolutely horrid photo of myself to Mel and to two people that I don't even know <laughs> oh my god what a loser am I <laughs> oh, god. oh dear I thought I had to video and I ended up sending a horrible photo 
anyway, <laughs> sorry about that Mel and to the two random people. I did end up going back and sending a message saying, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> My God. I think it's weird sometimes you get photos from people you don't really know or videos from people you don't really know. I've had a few and I think mm, it's a bit odd. I don't get Snapchat. I really think I should give up on it. Maybe I'll have to try Periscope, although I see so many nasty comments on Periscope that I'm not even nasty but rude things on Periscope, so I don't know. That's the thing. Maybe I just have to just stick with um this. <laughs> I could work out Snapchat, but I've totally forgotten it, so I need to. My gosh. I don't know what that was. Anyway, I'm going to walk home. It's pretty warm in the sun here. So we'll continue our walk and um, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling okay now. I was feeling a bit sick, but having stopped even for that failure of Snapchat for a little bit. Sorry, Rose, you're tangled up. Uh, I have my stomach settled down again now, so that's okay. Well, I'm finished getting home. I survived my first walk, so it was nice. I don't feel brilliant <laughs> now, but hopefully I'll sit and recover and just going to have um, just going to have my overnight oats that I made up last night. That would be nice because I haven't had them for so long and um recover and hopefully feel better and then i'm i think my focus today is going to try and be a bit of um food prep i want to make some chia cookies a sweet recipe what i'm making but i'll just have to see how i go i think i'm supposed to be going to clean so if i don't clean i'll probably have to do that but i'll um, see if i can get a bit of food done this morning i could even have a few hours rest and then even later this afternoon do some cleaning if i feel better I just really want to whip my house into shape because it, it's not only dirty now, it's still unorganized. I mean, the fridge from Athena's party, which is what, a month and a half ago, is still in here. That's because there's no room for it in the garage, I think, so. Um, we need to try and get into the garage, but I need to be feeling really good to do that, so. Yeah, I think that's going to take time, but I'm going to try and get my diary out and start to make a bit of a list of of things but um yeah i think i guess my priority is to get a few walks in each week it was not every day if i get um a few in and then we'll just start to build up some strength and stamina again and then i can look at maybe getting back into some weights and things but yeah first of all just walking for the next month or so um <laughs> so for a couple of weeks of short walks and maybe only a week or so it just depends i guess how quickly everything comes back and how I feel as I said I feel a lot better today than yesterday but I don't know and I've obviously want to take it easy because I don't want to set off a flare yeah it's just an interesting experience and that's why I half thought too it's probably a good idea to continue doing vlogs again for people who are looking at the treatment just to sort of see you know that I'm still hoping I'm going to feel better continue to feel better but and then I can label it a success. But obviously in the early days, it was like first the first day I thought it failed. Yesterday I thought I'd failed, and I thought that was that was it, no hope. But this morning, I made a walk. So and I haven't done a walk in a long, long time. If I can even contemplate thinking of heading out for a walk, I know I'm, my pain levels are a lot less than what they were. I mean, there's many days it's just there's no no way I would even contemplate going for a walk. So. Today's, and that's what I guess the doctor was trying to say, just take each day and you've got to look at the big picture, not just, you can't just look at each day or how you felt that day. You've got to look at the big picture and if I start to have more good days, more days of less pain, then that's a success. Because as you guys know, the, you know, probably the four to six weeks before I went in for that treatment, I was on the couch, you know, most of the time. So, yeah, more positive today. <laughs> He's just got some dog treats if you can't tell. Got some admirers. <laughs> There's some lip licking going on there. Good boy! Good boy, good girl! <laughs> I like how they all scattered to different directions. Like. <laughs> Don't <wanna share> it. <laughs> take my take my treat and go. Hey Bailey. You'll be gone in two seconds. I know who's going to be last to finish, and it's not going to be my two. Mm -hmm. I've been having a productive morning. I am. Um, well, I had tied up. I think there's left stuff on the bench there now. <laughs> okay. It was looking all good. Tied up. I've tied up the lounge room. I've put bits and pieces away or stuff to go upstairs. So I've got a few things there to deal with. And I've tied up my desk and I've paid bills. And I was just writing up things in my diary at the minute. 
So yeah, I'm now gonna go and make chia cookies and I think I'll do a salad for lunch because they just said they're gonna have a leftover so just put on the bench. I just saw a nice recipe for a chocolate brownies or something for the rest of the family. So I might try and see if I can, I don't remember I saw the recipe now. Why can I see it? I don't remember where I saw it. Yeah, I tracked down the recipe, but I'm not gonna be making these. Where are the ingredients? I don't think they're very healthy. So no, I'm not gonna make that. <laughs> I might make, I've got a brownie slice. It's really easy and it's not too bad for you. So I might, I might make that one. I'm out of practice. I forgot to check the oven temperature. So I cooked them at 200 degrees instead of 150 degrees. So they're gonna be rather crispy. At least besides that one in the back corner, those two, they don't look too burnt. Hopefully they're edible. Oh, I'll be eating them because I won't be making any more for a while. <laughs> and then I made this, um, it's called Quick Mix Chocolate Slice to... Why won't you be making any more for a while? Because we're at no first. Okay. <laughs> I've just made myself a yummy salad for lunch, just the usual. Didn't have any beetroot saw though, so that's what's missing. And so chopped up that slice and I'm gonna I think it's cool now yeah so I'll package up into small contain small little bags for people to take I uh, shoot there's no scores in it I'll do some for Kevin and I'll pop the rest in a container for the whoever to have and then I've got um stuff to put away and the kitchen's all cleaned up I've just put the dishwasher on because actually with all the baking that I'd done this morning it was I have actually had a full load to go on I think there's a bit left from yesterday too so anyway I wouldn't fit anything from dinner in there, or if I do any more food prep, so <laughs> I'll get that going as well. I don't think I showed you Harry's here again today, because <laughs> now the pop out right, with Christy. <laughs> You're a funny little fella, aren't you? Come here. Come here. You're a good boy. You're not quite as soft as my two puppies, so he just wants to go home. I don't think he likes our house that much. He likes Christy, he loves Christy. He spends a lot of time with Christy when I was sitting in the, he was sitting in the study. Even this morning when they sitting there waiting for her, but then she left. You like Christy? <laughs> You're an old papa. You're an old papa too, Rosie. I think you might be older than Harry. We don't know how old Harry is. I don't know, Bailey's gone. Oh, Rosie, you're looking cute. It's so nice being home with the puppies again. Hey Rosie, it was lovely getting to walk them this morning. What are you doing? You'd love to know what she's thinking about right now. <laughs> and Harry seems to be sitting on my foot. You're sitting on my foot now, you've reversed onto me. I'm just working on um, part two from the hospital stay. Yes, I'm still feeling really good this afternoon. Oh my gosh, I said to, even Athena said like it's been a long, long time, like well over a month probably since I've had a day where I've been this good. Like, and I'm tempted to go and do more stuff, but I don't want to overdo it. So I'm just going to take it easy this afternoon. I'm going to do this. I might go, I'll do something. I'll try to do something productive, but I'm not going to do anything on my feet because I don't want to overdo it and I don't want to end up having bad days again. <laughs> like I said, I've had a very lazy afternoon. I don't know what I'm doing really, not much. I had mentioned a blog post but never got around to it. I did paint my nails though. I don't know how well you can see the colour now because it's a bit sort of dark and dull in here at the house. It's an orangey colour, quite a bright orange. It's one from Witchery that Ada bought for me. Can we see the colour? Orange Sorbet. There you go. So I don't know whether you can still get that one. I would doubt it very much now because it's... Um, a year and a half old. It gets so dark early now. We're not in daylight savings time. It's um just going 5.30. Oh, the moon's already up. He's up a bit early. They need to learn to bring the washing in earlier and <laughs> put it out earlier. Could be getting cold now. I won't go reminder. Where are you off to, Rose? The weeds are still in the garden here. Hey, what you doing? Are you a cutie pie? <laughs> you have a cutie pie. Okay, um, I asked Athena what they wanted for dinner and she said filled with pasta, so 
I'll do that. It's easy. I was going to make something more lab. I just, I've got all my menu st planning stuff there, but I haven't actually planned anything yet. So, um, and I couldn't really, I don't know. I probably should have made something. I couldn't, I'm not, I've got to get back into the swing of things. I guess it's going to take a little bit of time. So, um, even though I haven't done a lot today, I'm happy with what I've got done. I've never got my soup made or anything, but, oh well. Um, as I said, I want to ease back into things. <laughs> so, not really quite time to do pasta yet. It's a bit early, so I'll um, leave that for a little bit. That's what we're going to have for dinner, I think. So, then I said, I don't like an empty fridge. I'll show you, it's empty. For me, this is very empty anyway. And, um, like, this is dog food. So that we're going to have pasta tonight. So it's going to come out, dog food. Those refried beans were here from before I went to hospital. That's leftover stuff for the dogs. Um, I've still got Easter eggs. <laughs> so I'm trying not to have chocolate. So a lot of stuff's going to come out. But, um, yeah, so it's pretty empty. <laughs> I mean, really, I could fit the lettuce down the bottom. But, yeah, it's not a very full fridge. <laughs> so I'm not used to having space in there. So, I'll, um, but the freezer. But the freezer's really packed. This one is anyway. And there's so much stuff, and I just, I really want to kind of use up stuff, but I need to get organized what I want to use up. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, we just need to have so much, such a huge variety of stuff, and it's just, it's too much. It's just gotten a bit out of control. Um, with having this pantry, and it's not probably a lot in that pantry. And then we've got the two, there's two spare pantries. But again, I don't mind having stuff we use all the time. It's just, I'd say um, Harry's out and about where they're carrying on. Rose, Rosie, that's enough. Oh my goodness. Rose, you're crazy. Crazy. Although Kevin's at the front, so maybe it's kept when he's out and he's made at home. Good morning, everyone. Thursday. Now, I don't feel as good today as I felt yesterday. I've just watched the cycling. Um, I've had my shower. I'm still hoping to take the dogs out on a little walk. Even if it's any time today, I'm really going to try and do that. But I just, I don't feel great right now, so I don't think it's a good idea to go down. We have some breakfast. It's gonna, I think I've got some raisin toast in the fridge, so I'm gonna use that up and then I will I'll see. I've got so much I want to get done, it's just trying to fit everything in. So but yeah. Um got more than burning back again in my arms and legs. So we'll yeah, just yeah, I just I guess take hour by hour or just moment by moment. If I feel if I feel like I've got a good moment, I will try and get down and go for a little walk. If not, I can try and just never run out. But we'll just, let's just see. A little bit frustrating, but that's okay. I just, you know, just take, just take it and see what comes. Well, I ended up coming down for a walk with the dog. My mum was bringing Harry down, so we joined them. So, had a walk now. And today's walk was a lot easier than yesterday, so that's good. Not really a lot, but it was easier. Get the puppies home now. Okay, so I've done a bit of a menu plan. Obviously, school holidays, it's a little bit up in the air, but anyway, I've done some. Well, I've planned through till next Friday, so that's pretty good. And a bit of the next week, I'll get back to my monthly menu planning properly. Well, I've done, I've probably done it right because always, as we're going to be away, I'll be planning that meal, and then I always try and leave at least one meal a week with not a plan. So that's pretty right then, because things always change. <laughs> I think the kids have got friends over. Oh, no, it's this week, so that will go. No, no, it's next week. No, this week. <laughs> that's next week. <laughs> this is this week. <laughs> yeah, so then they've got, so that obviously won't be that night. I'll push that back. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. Anyway, all the next night I'll push it too. And then we're away, so for Easter. Not for Easter, for the Anzac Day long weekend. So I've done that anyway. I have got my grocery list. As you can see, there's not a lot on it because it's, um, I don't need a lot, I don't think. We've got a lot of stuff here. But anyway, I'll go and get that. And, um, yeah, I don't feel really like going, but I'm going to go. I think I'll just go and buy myself some rice paper rolls to have for lunch. 
and then I'll have them when I get back. And I might grab a watermelon smoothie or something while I'm down there to have have one of them for a while from ones from Wendy's. All right, so I'll um yeah, I don't want to go oh, back with the groceries. It doesn't seem a lot. I still two hundred dollars, but anyway. <laughs> Copies of bat, they went over at Nan and Pops. Or at, I think Pops have got them over with Nan and Harry. And I'm pleased to report I have sore feet. From the side of my sore feet, I'm still feeling pretty good. So that's good. I think all these are achievements are <laughs> big achievements. Um, yeah, so I'm going to quickly put the fridge stuff away and then I'm going to have the rice pear rolls that I bought for lunch. And then I'll come back and deal with the rest of it after I've, I've had a rest. And, let my feet to recover a little bit. It's starting to cool down now. I guess it is 4.30. It's been a funny old day out there. It rained just briefly. It's been overcast and sunny and ah, I just don't know what it's doing. And it's done. I think I'm going to close the house like my feet are really cold. Hello. I usually just come to lie by the door but it's done. Now I'm going to close up because it has cooled down. And I'm just making a cup of tea. Yeah, I've just um, I've got this sidetrack this afternoon. I did get my groceries to put away. I've still got two bags of stuff to take out to the spa room, to the spare pantry. But I did um, yeah, I got sidetracked. It's actually it was three years yesterday, I think, since we left to go to Germany. So I watched two of my old Germany vlogs. Um, if I remember, I'll try and link below. But there is a playlist on my channel for the Germany vlogs if you're interested in watching them. Um, it was such a good trip, so it's um, yeah, it was good doing that. And now that I'm back doing my blog again, I was just um, reading some old blog posts, some old day in the life ones. It's just interesting how things, some things change, some things don't change. Um, I was mainly looking because I'm actually having trouble remembering what my days kind of used to be like. Like, I guess I'll just develop a new routine, I guess, because. Um, for you guys that are fairly new to my channel or whatever um i got sick right when christy went to high school so i've never developed a routine really for high school life and now of course athena's schooling at home so i just i've never really developed a routine so i'd kind of like to get into a routine but I don't know what's going to happen. We will see. It's still school holidays here now too. I don't know if I, ever, if I have mentioned that. Uh, this is week one and then they've got next week off as well. So I think I'm just going to potter. Just try and do a bit. Tomorrow I've got doctor's appointment. I think I've got a doctor's appointment. I think I already mentioned. I don't want to return some stuff. So I probably won't get much done tomorrow. Um, you know, we'll see. I've still got so many jobs. But I guess it's just, yeah. The jobs will get there. <laughs> um, I kind of like, I feel guilty, but I kind of, yeah, like I could sit and do my the coffee table there. It needs done. It's pretty such a small job, but like it's 4.30 now, I go, I don't want to do it now. I really want to work on my photo book more. I've got to finish the um, cruise photo book, and then I've got to do the photo book for last year. So many things. But actually, I started to work on the blog post for the hospital thing. I'm going to do that now while I have my cup of tea. and. I don't know. I'm not going to get anything done in my this afternoon. Oh, so if I had a routine, it would be good because I can maybe like schedule in some time for things rather than just have the day sort of gone. And I need to try and do something at least when school goes back and when Christy goes back to school. Not that it makes much difference because she's just in her room anyway. And Fina's actually now out to her friends for the night. So my life it doesn't routine doesn't change too much except during school term. Most of them have to go pick Christy up from school at 3 o'clock. That's the only thing because she goes into school with Kevin. So, yeah. It's a really just an excuse, I think. I don't... <laughs> the kids don't factor too much in nowadays because they're so independent. So tonight's dinner is sweet bean burritos. So it's just mashed up sweet potato, cumin, and cannellini beans and some onion in a wrap. Good morning. It's Friday and look at the lovely sunrise. But we can see it here anyway. <laughs> what a shame I wasn't quite up for a walk this morning. I just um just finished watching the cycling. I feel okay, but I've as you guys know I want to go shopping this morning, so I don't think I'll try and do a walk as well. Um, 
and Bailey's upstairs, so I'd have to go and disturb Kevin to get Bailey. And probably by the time I did that, the sunrise would be finished. <laughs> so I've got a little snoozy Rosie here, though. I don't know where it's all over there. <laughs> and I'm trying to like slouch in the corner, but this isn't very comfortable. <laughs> I have to get really low to get out of the sun. Oh, I'm blinded. Uh, I have to move too far. Maybe I'll have to move down the couch. Maybe that'll be better. <laughs> My tea's far away now. <laughs> Hopefully, it will be gone soon. It's like, but that's even a huge thing that I can actually even stand to have that light coming through because honestly, I'm a really bad migraines, which I haven't had any of since before going into hospital. I had to have every door shut, so it's pretty incredible. Um, yeah, my hands and feet are a little bit sore tonight, today, and they're a little bit pain yesterday on a little bit of time, but it's overall, and that's what the doctor said, I've got to focus on the overall. overall. Doing good, like even the thought. I'm not, I can't say I'm excited to go shop. I'm not really going shopping yet. I'm going to return some things. And I would like to go to Kiki K. So if we've got time, I might do that because there's a few things I want to have a look at in there. I've got my eye on another tea set. I don't know you need a tea set, but it's really nice. I want to go and see it. Hopefully, it'll be not what I want when I see it. Um, so I want to go in there, but I'm not dreading. Like, usually, it's like I can't even bear the thought of having to go shopping and walk around the shops for an hour or an hour and a half. But today, I'm like, yeah, I can do it today. And um, I don't really want to get into a lot of shopping again still because I've still got less stuff in my house. But it'll be nice to look if I don't dread it, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, because it can be a nice little outing for the family. But well, it feels nice to have actually done my makeup for the first time in a very long time. Uh, yes, even yesterday I sort of contemplated it, but it wasn't feeling it. I didn't feel like I could be bothered. So. It was nice to do it today. I've got snoozy puppies and lots of fluff on the floor. And <laughs> they've been molting okay. Oh, Rosie. She's so cute. So, time to go down and have some breakfast. And uh, I've still got a while before I have to leave. It's been a pretty hectic Sunday morning. <laughs> I'm just back at the doctor's for the second time. I've already been here with Athena. Then we went to town. I don't really buy anything to the chemist, I end up buying a f just some moisturiser in the chemist and a little um, pill medicine box. I think that's all I bought. Looked at stuff in Kiki K, cute stuff, but didn't buy any. I really have trouble buying things now. <laughs> Before I just would have, yeah, whatever, I buy whatever, but now it's like, mm. yeah, I find it hard to buy things. But that's not a bad thing. Especially when we've got Disney World coming up at the end of the year. I want to buy things and I not feel guilty. It'll be interesting, I reckon, how, if I still want to buy stuff, and I know I will. Especially like Disney themed stuff, I want to get some of that. And some things that we can't get in Australia. Anyway, I'm just hanging to the doctors now for my appointment. And we'll um, see what she says. Okay, okay, as you can see, I've got my camera set up here. I um, just filmed my um, ketamine infusion sort of recap thoughts. I'm not sure. I had planned, to, I wanted to do a better job with the video, like. I don't know, making it a bit more coherent, I guess, rather than me just rambling on. But, so I got it done. It's just me rambling on. I did make some notes when I was in hospital, thankfully. So I just sort of went off that and went through my experience. But I'm, I could have done a better job. But I thought I'd wait for that. For me to do, like, the best job, it might never get done. And I know I've had quite a few comments of people saying they're looking at doing the ketamine infusions or going to ask their doctor about it. So I wanted to get that up soon so that people can get just a little bit more information and, and a follow up as well. So hopefully I'll get the edited and put that up tomorrow, which will be before this sort of vlog for the week. But now it's one o'clock. Oh, the sun's almost gone. There was sun out there before and I thought I should go and lie on the chair in the sun. But I think the sun's gone now. Drats. <laughs> I kind of don't really want to go out there but it's, it's such a lovely day all those clouds that were there this morning gone to blue skies now and it's like 24 degrees so it's pretty warm and I thought oh I should go out and try and get some sun get some vitamin D because I think I'm I can't remember I told you my vitamin D is, my vitamin D is low but my doctor wasn't worried at all Kevin's already got me supplements but the doctor said oh no it's fine don't worry about it so maybe it wasn't that low <laughs> anyway um, she wasn't worried at all. 
Unfortunately though, I have now got high triglyceride levels, which is a bit confusing because it sort of come out of nowhere at a time when my diet's been pretty good. So I was just doing a bit, trying to do a bit of research before and it sounds like sometimes changing to a vegan diet can actually increase your triglyceride levels. So um, yeah, that's a bit weird. And also one other thing I said was low fat can also increase increase your triglycerides and I have been trying to reduce the fat in my diet. So the problem is that the last one I had tested was I think back in 2013, so it's been quite a while. So when it went up, who knows? So I don't know now. Now I'm confused <laughs> because I want to get back on the plant-based diet. But maybe I just need to have a little bit of fat in it because it's supposed to be like very low fat. So now I don't know. I'm confused. Um, the doctor did suggest having nuts or avocados to have some good fat because also my good, the HDL is a good one. That's low, which is weird. Like, because honestly, I think my diet, even though it's n not really been big in the last few months. I think my diet's best overall in the last six months. Well, it is, than it probably has ever been. So, <laughs> it just seems weird that for now these levels have gone up. So I'll go get retested in four or five months. So now I don't know what to do. I don't know what the best approach is now. Hmm. I guess I'll do some more research and see if I can find out some more information. I don't, yeah. I don't need any more issues. I have enough issues without that. You know, I'm gonna get some lunch now, and um, I'll probably go watch some YouTube. I think now the sun's gone. I was I was actually planning to sit outside and have lunch in the sun, but the sun's gone. <laughs> so I'll just sit back on the couch and watch some YouTube. I don't want to do too much this afternoon anyway. I want to take it easy after my kind of big morning. It's not really big morning, I guess, but well, it was, and it was, yeah. It felt nice to be out doing normal things, even though I wasn't a good shopper. It was just like, that's Harry. If you heard that weird bark, Harry's next door. Okay, so lunch today is just one of the wraps that we had from last night: like sweet bean burritos and a corn cob that's left over from the other night. So, looking forward to. It. I just, I love corn, corn and lettuce, like my two favorite things in the world at the moment. I wonder where the time goes. It's quarter to four and I don't think I've done anything all afternoon. I watched a little bit of YouTube but not too much. Uh, I do not know what I do. I really do need to try and do like blocks of time and try and allocate. So if I have just been replying to some comments. Now again I'm going to apologise for there's loads and loads of comments I haven't replied to. Uh, all the well wishes and things like that. So. I do apologize. I'm not going to try and respond because all I've been doing is basically saying thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, so I'm sure you guys can all understand. But there's also a lot of names I don't recognize. So welcome and hello and thank you for taking the time to leave a comment. I have read them and I said a lot, all the well wishes before my surgery, all the ones that I read while I was in hospital, surgery, all the ones <laughs> that I read before my treatment and when I was in hospital, I just, it, um, it meant the world to me. I really do appreciate it. I just feel in the love, <laughs> feel in the love. So again, thank you very much. And I'll just, I'll um, try and reply to some of the more recent ones. And, um, or any questions, I tried to get back. If there's any questions, I do try and answer those. But yeah, there's a lot of comments there. <laughs> So I'm sure you guys understand. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say thank you to every single one of them. Just know that you're all thanked. <laughs> okay, so so I try and do something productive this afternoon besides comments because that is productive. Um, I think I'm gonna go and try and work on my photo book for a little bit. I'd kind of rather just watch YouTube, but I'm feeling like it's just, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I can't keep up with everything. I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to make some changes soon I think especially if my health continues like it's great watching all this YouTube when I don't have anything else to do um, but also at the moment I'm watching cycling for a couple of hours in the day too so between the two I am going to have to um, 
stop doing something. So. Yeah, change of plans. <laughs> um, got takeaway Thai just for Kevin and myself. I was all set to make dinner, and then Christy said she's going next door to Nana Potts for dinner. I thought, okay, well, it's the three of us. And then Athena forgot that her friend Joe was coming over tonight, but then they decided they wanted to have dinner out, and they were going to try and go to the beach for the sunset, but they missed that, so I don't, I don't know where they are now. Um, where is he having a drink? So it's just Kevin and I, and I just said, we'll just get takeaway too. <laughs> oh my goodness, thirsty girl. So this is my new place was recommended by a friend, so hopefully it's just nice. Um, so I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna put my jammies on now and then we can settle down, have some dinner, watch some TV and oh. yeah, and days are finished. <laughs>